in primetime news this evening. Revoked. U.S. Embassy cancels visas for government and opposition MPs. What's the reason? Security Minister addresses questions about whether U.S. action was pushed by recent breakdown of the MOU. And not backing down. UTEC lecturers reject payment proposal and vow to stay off the job until full retroactive sums are paid. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. On air and online at onespotmedia.com, I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious. Also this evening, the top business stories of the day. And Andrew Laidley has our preview. Andrew? Janella, the saga of the runaway dollar continues. Two industries now telling us that they are unable to get their hands on the U.S. dollar. Much more on that in the Financial Week. All right, thank you, Andrew. From Andrew, we go to Jordan Fort with what's coming up in sports. Well, Herman, not such good news in sports as uh, the world of or the fraternity of local football was uh, sent into shock today after learning of the uh, killing of uh, Terania Clark, a reggae girl. Uh, I'll tell you lo a lot more about that in primetime sports Friday. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. This evening we're asking, what is your reaction to news that the U.S. visas of senior politicians have been revoked? You can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and tweet us at television jam. Please stay with us. Primetime news returns right after this break.